Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday morning, 22nd of February, 2024. I've often talked about the importance of understanding the origin of faith. Where does faith come from? Hebrews 12, verse 2 says, He is the author and finisher of our faith. For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, despised the shame, and is set down at the right hand of God. Mark is going to start reading the book of Philippians today. And one of the most powerful verses regarding where faith comes from is in this chapter. In the sixth verse. Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. The origin of our faith, he's the one that has begun a great work in you. And also, the doctrine of preservation will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. So what he starts, he finishes author and finisher of our faith for the joy that was set before him he endured the cross he despised the shame and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God Philippians chapter 1 Paul and Timotheus the servants of Jesus Christ to all the saints in Christ Jesus, which are at Philippi, with the bishops and deacons, grace be unto you and peace from God our Father, from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all making requests with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the ver- from the first day until now. Being confident of this, confident of this very thing that he which hath he gonna get work in you performing and until the day of Jesus Christ. Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all because I have you in my heart. Matt, and as much as both of my bonds and the fence and confirmation of the gospel ye are all partakers of my grace. For God is my record how greatly I long after you all in the bowels of Jesus Christ. And this I pray that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and all judgment, that you may approve things that are excellent, that you may be sincere without offense till the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness which are by Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. But I would you should understand, brethren, of things which happened to me have fallen out rather than the furtherance of the gospel. So that my gospel, rather my bonds, my bonds is Christ. My bonds in Christ are manifest in all the palace, in all the places of many of the brethren in the Lord. Making confident by bonds are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Some indeed preach Christ even of envy and strife, and some also of goodwill. The one preached Christ of contentions, not sincerely opposing to add affliction to my bonds. The other of love, knowing that I am set for the fence of the gospel. What then, notwithstanding every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached not there and to rejoice, yea, it will rejoice. For I know this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Toward my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness, as always, so now also Christ should magnify in my body, whether it be by life or by death, for to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. And if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor, yet what I shall choose I want not. For I, for I am in a strain, 
choice to have a desire to depart to be with Christ, whether which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more more needful for you. Having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your furtherance and the joy of faith. Your rejoicing may be more abundant in Jesus Christ for me by my coming to you again. I want to let your conversation be as it come with the gospel of Christ, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs that you stand fast in one spirit with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel, and nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you of salvation and that of God. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. Only the same comp which she saw in me and now here to be in me. Thank you, Mark. So, Paul certainly went through a lot of conflict. He ends that chapter by saying, having the same conflict we saw, which you saw in me, and now here to be in me. So there was a, a battle raging in Paul, just like there's a battle raging in every one of us. So it's good to know that we have the promise that he which has begun a good work in us will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Hope you have a good day today.